Welcome to Gaming with Steve. This week, uh, my wife and I are heading to TotalCon 2023 for a great four days of board gaming. So, let's get to TotalCon. is a boarding gaming convention held in Marlboro, Massachusetts uh, every year and it's considered one of the largest gaming conventions in New England. As you can see there are many places for board gaming. It's held right in the Best Western Hotel and there's a whole lot of games being offered and open gaming as well. Uh, here uh, we are playing uh, Star Wars Outer Rim. Uh, where basically you're playing smugglers and bounty hunters in the world of Star Wars between movies 3 and 4. TotalCon is held at the Best Western in Marlboro, Massachusetts, and it's a really nice hotel, very large, and there's a great uh, convention area, many places for people to game, especially in this open area here, and here's a quick tour of our room, which is looking, which is actually quite nice. brought a good variety of snacks with us for Total Con because we usually have the breakfast buffet in the hotel and we tend to go out for dinner but in between for lunch we just grab some snacks. So let's get gaming. The game that we played on Thursday was Millennium Blades which is a meta game where you're playing people collecting cards to play in a collectible card game. It's kind of different, and I'm glad we played it, but I don't think I need to own this game. Next we played uh, Perseverance, which is a game where you're a colony trying to survive as you crash landed on this island and it's inhabited by a lot of dinosaurs. TotalCon has a big flea market on Thursday night and I picked up a few games which I'm going to be excited to try out with my students when I get back to the college. Friday morning had us trying out Western Legends, which is a sandbox game where you're playing uh, Legends of the West, either cowboys, either you can be a marshal, you can be a bandit, or you can switch back and forth. Great, loads of fun. In the afternoon, we played the game uh, John's Company, which is basically a game where you're all playing uh, families in this company, basically the West Indy Company, trying to set up trade in India and hopefully 
being somewhat semi-cooperative. Unfortunately, we were not very cooperative, and we were definitely embezzling the company, and our company, unfortunately, failed. For supper that night, we went out to Laguini's, which is an amazing Italian restaurant, literally less than a mile away from the convention center. That evening, we uh, tried out the game Arc Nova, which is a game about basically creating your own zoo in the world and doing conservation as such. Uh, we really like this game, and I have actually planning on purchasing it and bringing it back for my students to play with me. There was also some fantasy and sci-fi authors there as they would pick up a few books and got them signed. Uh, the next morning we tried out the game uh, Lost Ruins of Arnak, which is a kind of a worker placement a uh, ladder climbing game, which we found very fun to play. I am definitely going to need to bring this game to one of my game nights here on the campus. So I think students would like this quite a bit. Saturday afternoon we played Mosaic, a game of civilization uh, where basically you're in the ancient Mediterranean trying to work out your civilization to be better than anybody else's. And we did quite well. That evening we returned to Linguini's and had another wonderful Italian dinner. This time, we ordered the pizza, and boy, it was delicious. And that evening, we got out uh, Star Wars out of rim again, and Lando Carissian was successful once again as the crime lord of Star Wars. Sunday morning found us packing up and leaving uh, TotalCon and heading back home. It was a great convention. Uh, we met a lot of great people, played a lot of great games, and had a great time. And we can't wait to come back next year. Well, that's all for now. We're getting across the Great Bridge back into Maine. So that's all for now, may your future be filled with happy gaming. <laughs>